Assalamualaikum, my name is Faiz Shafiq and today me and Amro Fala will be explaining regarding our assignment to Structure Programming and Database System. We have to come up with an engineering related problem, build a program around it to help overcome the problem. So it goes as follows. We were to build a program that helps the MB to measure power factor in each every individual houses. So why is this significance? Because every house has a different resistance and inductance value. When there is an inductor, there is a reactive power because, in a, because electrical appliances uses inductor such as our aircon compressor, refrigerator or electrical ballast. So we want to keep our reactive value as low as possible because the real power will be consumed 100% by the electrical appliances. So as you can see in my power triangle, I put 3 as my real power, 2 as my reactive power. And from calculation, we get 3.6. This means that in order to get the same power, TMB has to provide an additional of 0 0.6 just to get the same power. And that is why we need to reduce reactive power as low as possible. And that is why we create our program. So with that in mind, here is how our program looks like. We first have to ask or prompt every house what is their resistance and inductive load. And with that data, we use it to calculate the inductive reactance. So what is inductive reactance? Inductive reactance is what happened when you, what happened to the current flow when you introduce inductance to the circuit. So, once you get that, you could use it to calculate the impedance. Impedance is very similar to, to uh, resistance, except for this case, there is, a, there is an inductance and that is why we call it impedance. So, in both cases, we use a frequency of 50 Hz and 240 volt for our power supply because that is what TNB supply our home with. And once we get the inductive reactance and impedance, we could use it to calculate I or current for, and once we get current, we use it to calculate the apparent power and real power. And thus, we can find what is the power factor for that particular house. Now that we have gotten our PF value or power factor value, we can understand individual houses whether it is efficient or not. And we could also decide whether power factor correction is needed or to add another substation. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Amrul Falah and I'll be showing you our coding for this assignment. Firstly, we declare num as int data type, whereby num refers to number of houses. Then we set frequency as constant, which is 50, and we set volt as constant, which is 250, and they are both in int data type. Then we will ask the program to display this and we will enter the number of houses moving on we will declare resistance inductance xl z i apparent power true power reactive power and power factor all of this in an array whereby the elements of the array 
is the number of houses. Then we also declare total power factor and min. And they are all in float data type. Then we initialize total power factor equals to zero. Now for the repetition structure in C++ output, for i equals to zero, i less than num, i plus plus, the program will display house, please enter the resistance, and we as the user will enter the resistance, then please enter the inductance, and we will enter the inductance. Then we will ask the program to calculate inductive reactance, whereby xl equals to 2 multiplies 3.142 multiplies frequency multiplies inductance and this 3.142 is actually the value of pi then the program will calculate impedance z equals to square root power resistance i2 plus power xl i2 which means resistance square plus xl square and all of it is being square rooted and to do this to use power and square root we have to declare we have to call the library cmath because power and square root belongs to cmath then we will calculate the electric current whereby i equals to volt divided by z then we will calculate the apparent power whereby apparent power equals to volt times current then we calculate the true power whereby true power equals to i square times resistance and once again we use power from cmath then we will calculate the reactive power whereby reactive power equals to i square times xl then we will calculate the power factor whereby power factor equals to true power divided by apparent power then the program will calculate the total power factor whereby total power factor equals to total power factor plus power factor and this total power factor is the current total power factor whereas this one is the new total power factor then the program will calculate the mean power factor whereby mean equals to total power factor divided by num. Now we move on to the text file processing. Firstly, we store the calculated elements just now into the variable file named out file. To do this, we just write off stream out file. But for us to write off stream, we must first call the library fstream because off stream belongs to fstream. Then we open the variable file out file which is located at desktop. And to do this, we just write out file dot open then its location. If the file is not functioning, nothing will be stored in the file therefore we write if out file dot fail return one then the program will display house resistance inductance apparent power true power reactive power and power factor inside the file now for the repetition structure in stream or in the file for int i equals to 0, i less than num, i plus plus, the program will display uh, the house number, the resistance, inductance, apparent power, true power, reactive power, and power factor inside the file. And the program will also display the total power factor and mean power factor inside the file. Now for the decision structure, if min is less than 0.7, the program will display in the file this sentence, 
since the mean power factor is less than 0.7, substation is needed for power factor correction. This is so that it will increase the efficiency of the power in each houses. Else, that means if the mean is equals to or more than 0.7, the program will display in the file this sentence. Since the mean power factor is more than 0.7, substation is not needed because the efficiency of the power is sufficient enough. Then the program will close the variable file out file. So we write out file dot close, then return zero. So as we can see in our codings, we have array concept, we have repetition structure in C++ output, we have text file processing, and we have another repetition structure in the stream, and we have decision structure. So let us try and run the program. Please enter the number of houses in Jalan Jasmine 3, Lama Jasmine Nila Impian. In real life, there would probably be around 15 houses in Jalan Jasmine 3. But this is just for testing our code. So let's say we take four houses. So house one, please enter resistance. Standard resistance is around 100 ohms. So let's say we take 105. Please enter inductance. Standard inductance is around 200 milli Henry, which is 0 0.2 Henry. So let's say we take 0 0.23. Then for house two, let's say resistance, we take uh, 97. Then let's say inductance uh, 0 0.19. Then let's say, let's say it drops to 89. Then 0. 2, 1. Then let's say resistance is around 110. Then let's say it increases to 0 0.28. The value of mean power factor at Jan Jasmine 3, Laman Jasmine, Nilain Pian, has successfully been calculated and stored in your file mean power factor.txt. So now let us check the file mean power factor here so we have the house resistance inductance apparent power true power reactive power and power factor and we have four houses as i key in just now in the output and we have the total power factor and mean power factor so mean power factor is 0 0.814914 so it means it is more than 0 0.7. So by right, substation is not needed. So let's see. At Jalan Jasmine 3, Laman Jasmine, Nila Impian, since the mean power factor is more than 0 0.7, substation is not needed. So it is correct, which means our program is working all right. But let's take another try just to see. Let's say this time we take around uh, five houses. Five. So let's say we take 120 this time. It increases. Then maybe 0 0.29. Then maybe 97. 0 0.18. 87. 0 0.31, let's say. And then. 100 exactly maybe and then 0 0.22 and then let's say 108 then 0 0.17 okay let us see okay so we have all the elements and five houses as I keyed in just now so our mean power factor is 0 0.809087. So since the mean power factor is more than 0 0.7, substation is not needed. So yes, it is working fine.
all in all our coding is is fine with the in the C++ output and in the file therefore we are able to solve our problem that is all from our team with that thank you very much